Welcome to a special episode of the Mercenary Goalie Blog. This is episode three. Today I'm heading out to Strathroy to meet up with uh, Steve McKeegan, otherwise known as uh, Keeks from uh, Future Pro. He's an NHL goalie coach uh, with decades of experience, uh, amazing guy all around, and uh, I'm really looking forward to doing a private session with him. You know, the first time I met him was, it's been nine years now, almost to the day actually. He was the, the first professional goalie coach that I ever got to skate with and um, you know, he was kind enough to lend me his time back then. That one session you know, was, was huge. You know, I finally got a taste of what you know, true professional goalie coaching looks like. Couldn't afford that growing up. It was an amazing experience, I'll never forget it. Really happy to uh, do this little collaboration with him today. So yeah, I got up at 5 a.m. this morning, check out his studio as well, did a little interview with him. I think you'll see that on his channel at some point in the future. I've also started putting up little, uh, just little short clips on uh, TikTok. So, you know, if you want to check those out, um, you can find me on TikTok at Captain's Crease. Uh, pretty much the same as all my other socials. So one thing I actually... Uh, kind of forgot to mention in the interview with Keeks. He was asking me about uh, what kind of tools can you use to get better, basically. The biggest thing for me was actually getting a GoPro. I learned a lot about watching myself. Where am I making mistakes the most often? And it's funny because in a game, you might feel like you're in perfect position, and then you watch the footage at home, and you realize, oh my God, I was so deep in the net. My glove was down. I wasn't, I wasn't uh, projecting my arm. I wasn't tracking the puck. I was too slow to read the pass across. Having the footage of yourself is the best way to pinpoint these issues. Other than having a goalie coach on the ice with you, or you know, having a goalie coach scout your games, other than that, it's, it's the best training tool, I think. Try to pick out parts of your game where you need improvement. That's what really got me started, starting to take training more seriously, you know, starting to learn actual technique other than just flopping around. You gotta do it the right way, especially if you wanna play at a higher level. Flopping around is not gonna cut it. You're gonna get picked apart by good shooters. Having an action camera of any kind, really, you know, whether it's a net cam where you can really watch your footwork and your edge work behind the net, up, up on the glass where you can see the play unfold in front of you, really see like where you are positioned in reference to the puck, line rushes, how you're reading two on O's, breakaways. Because like I said, you might think you look good on the ice, but once you see the footage, you you might be uh, thinking differently. I'll go back and look footage of myself, and I'll be like, what the hell was I thinking? Why did I go into the RVH? Why did I stay in the RVH too long? Not be able to cut off the, the far side shot from the centering pass. The camera is the best tool for, for catching things like that. Beautiful fall colors out here in the country. Actually, it feels really nice to get out of the, the noise and the bustle and the pollution. Especially these days when you're, most people are working at home, you're kind of seeing the same four walls every single day. You know, even if you're going to the office, it's a very mundane routine. Get yourself out there, go outside, go for a walk, uh, explore new neighborhoods, get some fresh air if you can. During the height of the COVID pandemic, there was nothing to do. You couldn't play hockey, you couldn't play sports. So my girlfriend and I, we started going out on walks and it became a daily thing for us. Hour, hour and a half, two hours sometimes. Again, get some fresh air, get a little bit of cardio and have a nice conversation with a loved one. And you can go for walks by yourself as well. The benefits are the same. Just keep your phone in your pocket. Give yourself a break from all the social media and all the electronics. And, you know, take a moment to think. Just think for yourself. And uh, I think you'll be amazed by kind of the thoughts that you come up with. I find even in situations where I'm kind of like I'm standing somewhere, I'm waiting in line or something. I look at everyone else in line. Everyone's got their phone in their hand. Everyone's scrolling through something. Everyone's got their head down. I'll just stand there and space out for a bit. <laughs> It's way better than just staring at a screen the whole time or just absorbing information constantly. Nonsense, you know, just rubbish. As goalies, uh, the mental part of the game is something that can never be ignored. It can make or break your game. It doesn't matter if, you've the, if you're the best skater, you got the best glove hand, you're the, you got the quickest feet, the best butterfly, the biggest size. If you don't have the mental capacity to to de-stress and tune things out and, and take a moment for yourself. You know, you're gonna have a tough time. You know, usually we, we learn that the hard way. You can't always be on 100%, you know? You can't grab a Bugatti Chiron and redline it a week straight. No, that engine's just gonna blow up. Think about your, your brain the same way. This rink here is where I first met Keeks nine years ago. Time flies. You know, I've been looking forward to this quite a long time. I remember it was actually my first ever, um, first ever like goalie training session, and uh, I nearly puked. <laughs> uh, 
Oh man, I was not prepared for the the cardio. That's for sure, and uh, I nearly booted. It would have been so embarrassing if I did. I don't know how I kept it down, but I had to take a break. I remember. I think I had to sit for about five minutes and kind of get my breath back. Uh, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. But uh, never know. All right, gonna head over to the rink now. So I'll see you on the ice.